All right, so today, guys, we have uh, just a quick one, kind of a replay of uh, the first colorway we had in in these. That'd be the Mercurial Vapor 7 Firm Ground. This one is in the Photo Blue color. Um, not really anything new to report, but I uh, figured we might as well show you the shoe itself. Give you a little idea of the look of it, if nothing else. So there you are. Mercurial Vapor 7, photo blue. And I have to say, I like this color. I like it a lot. Um, the orange, maybe the orange isn't, the contrast isn't showing up quite as well as I'd like, but that's alright. And then you've got those green sock liners in there. Those are kind of cool. Anyway, <clears throat> obviously comes with your Mercurial boot bag with everyone in blue and orange just like usual Nike Soccer Plus code like usual but anyway um, just a quick rundown in case you haven't seen the purple video yet um, these things basically the difference between these ones and the sixes the biggest difference is that the sixes were really just kind of a, a wide kind of amorphous fit they don't really, you know, hug your instep or anything like that, so it's kind of, uh, you know, you tend to slide, stuff like that. It's kind of a pain in the butt. They don't they don't give you as much touch on the ball as you're kind of used to with a Vapor. Um, the Sevens kind of fix that problem. Uh, you have a lot tighter instep. It really snugs right up into your, uh, into your foot. Real, real plus on those ones. Um, also, the uh, pretty much... Everything about the shoe otherwise, with the obvious exception of the lace cover, which is no longer there, is that the, uh, you know, these shoes are, are very similar to the sixes in that regard. It's the exact same pour-on sock liner, nothing different there. Uh, same synthetic material around the heel here. The studs and the outsole are entirely the same. They have that same toe-off track there, and then they've got the mercurial stud layout. They've got the hollow studs on there, as you can see. Nothing different or new there. And uh, that same kind of cross pattern on the back where the back studs all kind of support each other. Uh, there was a problem with the sixes with the studs, these back studs actually coming off. Uh, we're starting to find that the sevens, the Vapor sevens, have a similar problem, but it does take longer to get there. Um, it's not really, uh, it's not what you'd call a defect. It is massive wear and tear to get there, so you're not going to be able to get your money back on a return for that. My favorite part about the shoe, truthfully, uh, the new 7s, is this midfoot right here is just a ton more snug than it used to be. Um, it really just kind of fits your foot. It's, uh, it's a lot more comfortable fit than the 6s were. Other than that, um, as you can see, still got the same straight-on symmetrical lace, nothing different there. Um, the lacing on these ones is, uh, obviously there's more laces than there was when the lace cover was on there. The lace cover actually kind of hid the fact that there were only about six eyelets, I'm sorry, about four eyelets on the uh, Vapor 6s, Vapor 5s, all those down. These ones obviously, you know, they, um, that's another actual kind of bonus to these ones is that the, uh, with more eyelets means you get um, kind of a better fit and feel on the top of your foot too. And it's actually not as snug once the lace cover came off. It's not as snug right through the top of the shoe either. It doesn't, you know, kind of, it's not uncomfortable right on your tarsals or anything like that. So, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just an overall more comfortable shoe. Um, and being down $40 in retail certainly helps it too. Um, the retail, the 6s retail of $240. As you can see right on here, these bad boys retail at just 200 so that's nice. That's a big... Uh, a big bonus, and actually we have them at 180 on our site, so that'll uh, that'll help too. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, uh, feel free head over to GoldStore.com. You can check them out. You can pick them up. You can do whatever you like. Um, but yeah, so we are uh, we're actually going to be doing uh, a good number of more updates over the course of the next week, two weeks. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, thanks for all the feedback and everything. If you got any questions, you know where to leave them. All right, catch you soon, guys.